Well, good morning, everybody. Get back up in here with my gold hog river sluice repurposed as a dredge, a dredge uh, crash box, and it seems to be working pretty well. Now, I tried to run it with it up, running upstream, and it works, but it doesn't have enough pressure to really fill the crash box, so I turned it around and run, run downstream, and it's working fine. So, Adam and I were dredging up here. This is the hole I got that gold out of last time I was up in here. We're working it down to the bottom. At least you can see it this time. And we're going to have to get the shovel down in there, clean it out some more so we can get some of them stones out. And then we're going to run it for about another 45 minutes to an hour. And then we're going to clean up. So we'll, we'll let you watch us run it when we, when we start doing it. But we're going to take a break right now. Be right back. Okay, we're getting ready to start her back up. Clean the hole out some more. We're going to try to dredge on the upstream side of that shovel. And uh, you going to run dredge this time, Adam? Okay, you run dredge and I'll film. All right. Turn around. Start up, it's gonna be noisy. Hole got a lot deeper. Our uh, intake, intake was clogging too. It's stuck in the bucket. Really what's coming out of I put some of that stuff in there. It's got that black uh, sand in it. He'll run for a while and then I'll run for a while. As he's dredging, that hole will clear out and you'll be able to see down in there. Anyway, my conversion works. This gold hog has been repurposed a bunch of times. So we'll see what happens to that thing. So I'll bring you back on the bed.
and we got all the way down under there, under a big ass tree root, and we're down the bottom of the hole. We cleaned it out, and we're actually hitting that black clay. I don't know how much of it we got, but we were definitely working on it, and we're going to get ready to do a clean out. We will pause you until we're ready to do that, and then we'll see what we get. Here comes a gold hog plus clean out. Set you up here so you can watch. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know if I can get behind you. You should be able to see some of it anyway. First thing is the addition of this expanded metal. I don't think it's got anything on it, but I need to save it though. Next is the hard part. I don't know, I think I'll probably have to take that everything loose first now. bunch of black sand. I'm thinking I'm seeing little specks here and there. This is the kind of thing you wouldn't do a clean out on till the end of the day if you got to move. That's another good reason for not cleaning it out to the end of the day. This one will be a pain. Okay, get in here, reverse roll it.
taking out this part. Now how we're going to wash that out of there, I guess we're going to have to stick that pan at the bottom and maybe turn this on, direct it. <clears throat> Got to hold that there. Just put your foot in the hand against it or whatever you have. Fill the whole lot, and I'll go ahead and get this ready to pan out. Take them over the hole. Go ahead. See, no, we went that. You gotta bring the camera over here then. Oh, you got it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. We got out of the sluice. Maybe the Chinese are mapping my gold here. The spirits of the river are talking to us.
spirits of the river. Are they friendly spirits? Might be some down there somewhere. bottom of that hole for a while there but go away come back <laughs> it's gonna silt in probably silting in right now There's a little bit more of this float sand out there we'll try to spin it back a lot of black sand Not want to budge. Let's go. Oh, the lead shot showing up the top already. Well, that might be gold. Let's go right under the riffle there. Uh -huh. yeah. And there's a piece right there. Look, there's a whole bunch of it there. Trying to, trying to slip down on me. Okay, I have to be this careful. Look, there's a piece. <laughs> Probably a flat flake or something. Okay. Nasty glare. There's peace. A piece right there. Look at that. It's a nice flat flake. You see it? Mm-hmm. Water hits, wants, to, wants to go along with it. There's a bunch of specks in there. I wash the flake down. Not as much as we hoped for, but we didn't get to the bottom of the hole till towards the end there, so this is the way of prospecting. Black sand don't want to move at all. Matter of fact, there might be 200 mesh in there, the color of that black sand. Look at that. There's a whole bunch of tiny specks in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You can see them. I, I, don't I can see them from here, yeah.
I wouldn't be surprised if some of that is like 200 mesh. It just does not want to move. You see it doesn't good. really look like black sand. No, it's not black. <laughs> it's gold. Did you see it? Yeah. You see how it tried to climb the pan when I tapped it? There you go. That's actual gold there. There's a couple flakes that's bigger specks, but that little tiny stuff is, is gold. So there's a couple in there. Not what you want necessarily, but I mean, we like I said, we just got to the bottom of the hole, and you got to move a lot of float sand in this place to get to the bottom. I wouldn't be surprised there's a whole bunch of that real fine stuff in here. Anyhow, we're going to go to Statesville here, and we're probably halfway through today already. So I'd say it's um, proving the pudding. The sluice conversion works. This stuff is all going to go in a concentrate bucket. And we're going to clean up and get ready to get out of here. So, if we don't spill the whole thing. Anyway, you got to put this back together. And we will see y'all the next time we see. Okay. So, we got everything cleaned up out of there. We got to the bottom of the hole again, got a little bit of gold. And Lee Hendricks, I will go into that at the next time I'm here. I'm whipped. I will show you what I get out of that at the next time I'm here. So we will see you all the next time we see you.